So I completed the tour of the Shawshank prison here at the Ohio State Reformatory. And it uh, took me from 11 a.m. until 1.40 p.m. So two hours and 40 minutes. Uh, and uh, I did not stop and eat here. But I decided before I leave Mansfield to do the Shawshank Trail the brochure is available at where the tickets are sold for the prison and uh, 25 what does it say celebrating 25 years of Shawshank so they recommend going to the prison first and then the Brewer Hotel in Portland Daily Bugle the Bisman building was the site of the Brewer Hotel where Brooks stayed and hanged himself soon after being paroled. Only the front of the building was used. The actual hotel room was in the prison and I already showed that. The building was also utilized as the front office of the Portland Daily Bugle. leaving the Ohio State Reformatory. Going back on to State Route 545. And this is how easy it is to get to the reformatory. It's just along the edge of Mansfield. Here's uh, US Highway 30, which just runs right next to where the reformatory is. So it's a quick on and off. going into Mansfield proper here. railroad crossroads here so we're getting into downtown Mansfield here in one half mile arrive at 193 North Main Street on the right Okay, uh, over here on the right, this is the uh, Bisman building, the one with the uh, ornate Arriving front on it. North Main Street on the right. This was the uh, hotel site where 
Brooks and later Red went to stay where Brooks hanged himself. I'm skipping some of the lesser points. There's a lot of places, you know, here Red looked through a window into a shop kind of things. Um, I'd have to stop, park. The streets are pretty full of cars and I'd have trouble finding a spot. Don't have time for that, so I'm trying to hit the places I can drive by and make fairly quick work of it. So the place I'm going to here is the uh, what was called the food way in the movie, The Shawshank Redemption. It's now called the KV Market. And that's where um, Brooks and Red both go after parole to work in the grocery store. So this is the fifty nine West Fourth Street on the left. Now the outside scenes that grocery store was used for the indoor scenes because the outside I don't think looks much like what it did in the movie, but make sure your man double bags, as they said. Here's the KV Market again. I'm heading back into town. And then we're going to go out of town in the other direction to see some of the other sites that are uh, more in the countryside. Downtown Mansfield seems like a fairly happening place. The businesses seem open and seems like a reasonable community. Well, I'm heading south out of Mansfield on State Route 13. The first place I'm going to go is the so-called Road to Buxton. Walk in the steps of Red as he ventured toward Buxton once he got out of the Red pickup truck where he was hitchhiking. We have to uh, cross Interstate 71 before we get to State Road 97. And here we find State Road 97. a rails the trails conversion bike trail just off to the right I don't know which one it is makes a sharp right bend. That's Highway 97, that is, makes a sharp right bend. And a small road goes straight ahead. Snyder Road, right by the North Bend Church. Now I have to see where I go after this. Country, getting to these places. OK, 
Okay, right here where the right here at this intersection of Hagerman Say and command. Snyder is this movie location. They actually have a sign there. This is uh, where Red walked along on his road to Buxton, Maine. Looks just like that. Okay, from this location, we'll go down Hagerman Road here for 1.2 miles, it looks like. State Road 95 here. Stop and look left onto State Road 95. This is the site where Red was riding the bus after being released from prison. Right up here on State Route 95 and Hagerman Road. Proceeding from that intersection north on State Route 95, going up to State Route 603. turned on to State Route 603 heading north from State Route 95. Make the first left onto Pleasant Valley Road. Like it's this one up here. OK. 
Okay, the location where the tree stood will be approximately 0.8 miles on the right. So let's see, that's uh, 5.4. Ticking things off on my odometer. Movie site. In the movie, Red walked along a hay field and removed stones from a rock wall where Andy had left a gift for him. Since the fall, of the tree due to high winds in July of 2011. The remains of the 200 year old white oak were removed from the property. This is what the tree looked like but where it was was right across the road here and there is a sign there. It just would have been right out here in this field, right about there. Yeah, so too bad the tree isn't there. It would have been a much nicer picture. Making a, an immediate right here. sort of a visitor center. The Malamar farm. This is the Malabar Farm State Park. We're not going to do everything that's here. Don't have time. There's a lot of things here that have nothing to do with Shawshank, really. It's a, I guess it's a historic farm. Well, here's where we are. <clears throat> And there's a lot of hiking trails and so on here. The uh, Pug, Pug, Pug cabin, where the movie starts, is over here. Bit of a hike, which I don't have time for. So that's the uh, the main reason to come here, that would be the cabin where um, Andy Dufresne spots his wife going at it with whoever the other character is. Was he a golf pro or something? I don't even remember anymore. Another guy. And he contemplates killing him and is later accused and convicted of killing him. So that would have taken place here. But I don't have time for that. So I'm now south of Mansfield down here where it says Malabar Farms State Park and then we would have to go up to Ashland north of Mansfield and then to um, Upper Sandusky uh, wherever that is I spotted it here before but it gets further and further afield from where I need to be on my trip so that's going to conclude what I'm able to do on this driving tour of the Shawshank Trail.